Hello YouTube, this is Vista Bar Man Cave. I wanted to made, make another video here of the uh, Spider 360 2000 series just to kind of show off some of the uh, the options and primarily just kind of show off the uh, the LCD screen and some of the games uh, that it's capable of playing. Um, so one of the cool things that this thing has uh, to start out with is uh, it's got the main power toggle switch in the back but um, you can keep it turned on at all times and then it goes into a sleep mode after like five minutes of no use. So to keep it powered up all the time, which I confirmed from the company is okay to do, all you gotta do is just come over here and push any of these buttons. And it wakes it up and turns on all the lights and screen comes up. And uh, so this here is the, uh, the main menu. So the O1 games, if you select it, use the red button to select whatever is highlighted. So it shows you can play 301, 501, 701, all the way up to 1501. Uh, 301 and 501 probably being the most popular games. I've played 301 and 501 quite a bit since I've had the uh, dartboard over the last few days. But you know you use the uh, up and down arrows to uh, select what you want. And then once you have what you want, you, uh, you go ahead and select it. We'll just go ahead and return to the main menu. And then it plays a bunch of cricket games. I haven't really played too much cricket. I've played a few uh, games so far, and it's fun, but uh, a lot of these games I really haven't played. But uh, this goes to show you all the different versions of cricket that there are. Return to the previous menu here. Other games. Uh, speed games, Count Up, Gotcha, uh, Bermuda Triangle, Tic-Tac-Toe. Um, Played the tic-tac-toe game, that one's pretty fun. So what you do is um, it picks uh, eight random numbers in the crosshairs, and in the center of the crosshair of tic-tac-toe is the bullseye. And the idea is uh, in order to get a mark of an X or an O, you have to shoot that particular number four times. So if you're going for the 16, you have to throw 16 four times in order to get to your X or the O, depending on whether your X or O's. Um, so when you're playing against your opponent, if you've thrown it 16 three times and your opponent's thrown it 16 three times, it's still up for grabs. Whoever gets that fourth shot gets the mark. So Shark Tank I haven't played. <clears throat> Bermuda Triangle, uh, I played that once and I don't really... What, what it does, it basically tells you to shoot at a number and uh, you try to shoot at that number and I think if you miss three times in a row then the game ends or, or something like that. I haven't really played it too much but it's, it's just really neat to see all the different options that this particular uh, machine has. Tournament mode. So this is where you have to have it either hooked up to your Wi-Fi connection or to uh, an Ethernet through your router. So we select that. You can either play leaderboard, which is through the Wi-Fi and internet, and uh, um, Spider360 this month has a deal where you can play, uh, let me see here, let's try to connect to the server, okay, here we go, so here's a couple different options that you can play, so you can play count up. You have to play at least three games, and it takes the average of your best three games, but you can play as much as you want between January 6th and February 6th. And I think count up is just, you know, I think there's like 15 rounds, so three darts per round, and you try to get as, as high of a number you can uh, for, for a count up, and then you can play cricket as well. And these, these are the online games that they have uh, for the month, and uh, I think the winner of both the categories gets like uh, either a free shirt or a free set of darts and some other stuff like that. And they've got little commercial screens that kind of show, that pop up occasionally, what the uh, what the awards are. So it's really cool. Um, what I think it's neat too is you have to, uh, through uh, bullshooter.com or bullshooter live they call it, you have to type in your email address and you know come up with a username and a password. And then once you've done that, um, let me just select one of these here really quick. So what, what you do from here, you can do start game. You have to excuse the, uh, the noise outside, as I mentioned in my previous video a couple days ago. Uh, we've got a lot of construction going on in our backyard, and right now they're cutting up our old wooden awning, uh, getting ready to put up a new one. Um, so on this screen right here, it says... Uh, Log in uh, via email. So uh, what you can do 
is uh, select that. And uh, this screen is interesting. So uh, th this threw me off guard. So when you look at these buttons, I mean, there's obviously only three buttons you can select here. It's kind of deceiving because when you try to type in your email down here in the green box, it's like, okay, well, you know, you push the up button and you end up canceling and it just goes back to that screen, which is like, okay, well, you can't use that button to do anything. So if you go back and select again, you know, it says to hold the lower button for lowercase. So if you hold the lower button, you can see that everything goes into lowercase letters and you let go of it. It goes back to capitalization letters again. And then it says press, you know, red to continue. So, I mean, there's really no way to type anything up. So I thought, okay, well, maybe it's a touch screen. So I started touching the screen thinking I could type in my email address and that doesn't work either. Come to find out, you have to use the dartboard as your keyboard. <laughs> so if you need to, um, let's go in here a little bit. If you have to type in a C, for example, C represents 18 up here, which is 18 down here. So you basically have to use the segments of the dartboard as your keyboard to enter in your email address. And that also is true for when you um, type in your password for your router to get the password uh, so that you get your Wi-Fi connection. So just keep that in mind if you buy one of these. This is kind of deceiving. It makes sense once you figure it out, but you have to use the segments of the dartboard to do any typing. Okay, the other thing too, on this, if you've already logged in with your email and you already have an account with Bullshooter Live, all you have to do is just take your camera on your phone and scan this little box and it'll automatically log you in to the system. The system will make like a, like a little noise to let you know that you're logged in. Let me try it here really quick on my phone. So I've just got the camera on my phone here. If I do that, it says openbullshooter.com in Safari. So I'm gonna do my login and password. As soon as I push the login button, you're gonna hear a little noise. So now it's ready. I'm online and I'm ready to start playing uh, either you know something in leaderboard or um, something in count up or in cricket. So uh, what we'll do is uh, We'll just return back to the previous menu here. Return down to the bottom. Top Gun Challenge, I haven't played that yet, but apparently that's some sort of another tournament mode, possibly. I'm not really sure. We'll just X out of that for now. And then you've got uh, your setup menus. A lot of you can do machine setup and game setup and communications. Communications is where you go to select either, um, you know, your, your Wi-Fi connection, uh, you know, update the network and uh, perform updates if there's any software updates and so on. So um, a lot of important stuff going on in that menu there. And there's stuff for reports and diagnostics. And I, I... So under game popularity counter, you can see the number of games that have been played so far. I can see it for 301 open out, I've played a total of eight games. For 301 double out, I've played five games of that and it shows the average amount of time it takes per game. Uh, you can either clear all these stats and start from scratch or you can just keep going uh, to the next page for uh, additional things uh, that the game plays. Here's all the 701 games. You can see I haven't played 701 yet. Um, all the uh, 1101, 1501, I haven't played any of those. I played Count Up three times. That was actually in the tournament mode because that's one of the tournament games that you can play online right now. So I played that three times total. Go to the next page, uh, Gotcha, Cricket 200, uh, Wild Card Cricket. You can see I haven't played any. Or I guess I played Cricket 200 ten times. Yeah, that's right. That's the other game they've got on tournament mode right now. So that's why I played that quite a few times. And Tic-Tac-Toe, played that a couple times. I already explained how that game works. I explain how I think we're bringing the triangle works already. So we'll return to the uh, previous menu here. Here. 
Diagnostics, haven't really done anything with this, but it looks like you can test the intensity of the LED lights and test all the different sections or the different uh, segments of the dartboard, make sure everything's working okay. You can test your internet connection if you want. You can restart the software to reboot everything. So let's see, let's do the start test on the internet just to see how it's looking. So it's hardware's okay, connection status okay, cameras are okay. So everything's good there. Turn to setup mode. And uh, let's just go to exit setup menu here. So uh, I wanted to show off the attraction screen. So like if you're on the main menu and you just want to kind of go and see what the attraction screens look like, um, these, these are pretty cool. These have some pretty good cartoon graphics for, for kids. This is obviously the intro uh, for uh, the uh, Spider 360-2000. I'm just kind of let it go here for a little bit. Um, but uh, you can see here's... Uh, the world rankings for uh, the tournament play. Um, it's only two people. I, I'm assuming this might be just the people who are currently playing because before I had like five or six people that were playing. But those are top scores. Here's Bermuda Triangle. Uh, I think the game where you just kind of, it randomly chooses a number and you have to try to shoot your darts at that particular number. Just another logo for, for Spider 360 here. It showed the other day um, an actual screen from Spider 360 that showed like the actual awards that you could win if you uh, win either one of the games. So um, I haven't played darts in quite some time and I, I'm noticing I'm starting to get more consistent here the last couple days, which is, which is great. Shark Tank, another game. Haven't played it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it looks like you have to try to do something before the shark gets to you, possibly. Um, it looks like up to four players can uh, play on Shark Tank. Another uh, ad for Spider 360. Let it go for a couple more screens here and see if they start to repeat themselves or if they show something different here. But uh, overall, I'm having a lot of fun with OK Tic-Tac-Toe. So you can see it cho chooses four random numbers, and like I explained, uh, you have to shoot that particular number up to four times to get your X or O. And whoever gets three in a row first wins, obviously, just like the regular games of Tic-Tac-Toe. Another Spider 360 logo there. Um, but uh, I've had a lot of fun with this so far. I I've played it uh, every night that I've been getting home from work for at least an hour before I go to bed. Um, so it's addicting and, uh, you know, my game's slowly getting more consistent. Okay, so now we're ranking because again, now we, we see five people on the top of the leaderboard there. Or before we only saw two. So I'm not sure why it just showed two before and just a couple minutes later now it's showing five. Um, Hammer Cricket, haven't played it. I'm not sure what it is, but I just wanted to show off. Uh, the, the graphics just look really nice to me and uh, they're very colorful and I'm just really, really happy with... Uh, the overall quality of, of the game here. Um, can you beat my team? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. This is Mark Dart right here. This is, uh, I think I explained in my previous video. If you're playing by yourself, but you want to play against somebody else, Mark is the person that you can play against uh, artificial intelligence. And Mark has a beginner level, intermediate, advanced, and professional. Uh, so depending on what uh, you know, quality, quality dart player you are, or how good or bad you are, you can adjust mark accordingly. Okay, here, here's the screen of what you can win if you do the tournament play. So you can win uh, cricket, uh, you get a shirt, uh, looks like count up, you get a shirt as well. Uh, a jersey, I guess. It says play as much as you want. So uh, back to the original logo, I think that might be it for what screens I've seen at least. We'll let it go one or two more screens here and see if anything else different happens. But, um, okay, Bermuda Triangle again. All right, well, uh, there you go. I just wanted to uh, make this video quickly because uh, I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube yet that show this particular model dartboard uh, being uh, advertised. And uh, I just wanted to, for anybody out there that's contemplating whether or not to buy one or not, I wanted to kind of 
zoom in on the LCD screen here at least so that you could take a look, take a look to see what kind of games it plays and how good the graphics look. Uh, the graphics may not really do it justice. Uh, so again, now it's only showing two players this time, where before it was showing five. Um, so it's, it's a lot of fun to play. It's highly recommended. Again, this is a Spider 360 2000 series model. And the 2000 series model, the differences are it has a marquee at the top that says Spider 360. Um, the uh, 1000 series model does not have the marquee. And uh, the 1000 series, instead of having LED lights on the sides like this to light up the dartboard, there's actually a light fixture up here in this corner and one up there in that corner to help shine light down on the board. Uh, the Spider 360 2000 also has a camera built into it, which is kind of right above the E in Spider. Oh, you see? Okay, so we haven't played it or touched any buttons for about five minutes or so, so it goes into this uh, sleep mode. So I'm glad this happened during the video. So now what will happen is if I push a button, it wakes it back up again and you're ready to play. So as I was saying, the Spider 360 2000 has the camera right above the letter E and uh, that uh, aims out towards the, uh, the eight foot uh, throw line. The 1000 series does not have a camera. However, it's my understanding you can install one separately if you want to. Um, uh, the only other real differences that I can think of off the top of my head is, uh, you know, this says 2000 series on the pedestal. It would say 1000 series for the 1000 series model. Picture on the pedestal is the same on both models. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, as I mentioned in another video as well, and I'll mention this one too in case anybody just sees this video only and that's it. The color segments that you see, these are these are confirmed as international colors on a dartboard. So uh, it's the same colors that you'd find on a steel tip dartboard. And uh, this Spider 360 2000 series and 1000 series comes standard with red and black uh, segments and that's it. And to me, that was a little boring. I was able to uh, uh, pull some strings to get them to put in the international colors for me instead. Um, I explained more details of that in my previous video for those that may want to go back and watch that one. But uh, just so you're aware, if you do decide to buy a Spider 360 2000 or 1000, you're just going to get black and red segments. You're not going to get the international colors like you see here. Um, so just keep that in mind and... Uh, I can uh, let you know how I was able to get the international segments for those of you that may be interested in getting those ones. Um, so anyways, I think that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your week and good rest of your day. This is Vista Bar Man Cave signing off. Have a good day.